Hey guys, I know loads of you hate algebraic proof, so in this video I'm working you through loads and loads and loads of examples. Um, if you get your heads around these, you should be able to tackle any other example that comes up. And if these comes up, they're going to be worth a lot of marks because these are nasty hard questions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five proofs, going from a fairly simple one that the sum of any two consecutive numbers is always odd, to a rather complicated one, proving that the difference of squares of any two consecutive whole numbers is the sum of these two numbers. These are examples, but from these examples, hopefully you should be able to tackle lots more complicated problems. Before we start with proving things, we need a few rules and convention. Numbers are now going to be n. Even numbers are 2n. And an odd number is going to be 2n plus 1. We can say that an even number is 2n because the properties of an even number is that it is equally divisible by 2. And an even number plus 1 always has to be an odd number because even numbers and odd numbers are go in between each other in a number sequence. Prove that the sum of any two consecutive whole numbers is always odd. So here we can pick any number we like. But we've said at the beginning that a number is n. And the number after that is going to be n plus 1. Sorting that out, we have n plus n, that gives us 2n plus 1. Now we said at the beginning that if n is a number, a number times by 2 or a number that is divisible by 2 is going to be an even number, so 2n is even. An even number plus 1 is going to be an odd number, so that equals an odd number. Proof that the sum of any three consecutive even numbers is always a multiple of 6. Now we have to remember that an even number... is 2n. So if our first even number is 2n, to get to the next even number we have to add another 2. And because we want three consecutive numbers, to get to the third even number is 2n plus 4. Now we have 2n plus 2n plus 2 plus 2n plus 4, tidy that up a bit, we have 2n plus 2n plus 2n giving us 6n, 2 plus 4 plus 6, now both of these can be divided by 6, so we can take 6 outside the brackets, n plus 1 inside the brackets, and because um, we've divided out 6, we've taken 6 outside the brackets, we have proved that the sum of any three consecutive numbers is always a multiple of 6. We need to prove that 3n plus 1 squared minus 3n minus 1 squared is a multiple of 4 for all positive values of n. So the very first thing we need to do is to multiply out those brackets. So 3n plus 1, 3n plus 1 gives us 9n squared plus 3n plus 3n plus 1, 9n squared plus 6n plus 1. Do the same for the other set of brackets. 3n minus 1. 3n minus 1. 9n squared minus 3n minus 3n plus 1. 9n squared minus 6n plus 1 which gives us 9n squared plus 6n plus 1 minus 9n squared minus 6n plus 1, giving us 9n squared plus 6n plus 1 minus 9n squared plus 6n minus 1. 9n squared minus 9n squared cancels each other out. 6n plus 6n gives us 12n. Um, plus 1 minus 1 gives us nothing. Since we need to prove this is multiple by 4, we can divide that by 4, taking the 4 outside the brackets, leaving 3n inside the brackets. 
prove that 2n plus 3 squared minus 2n minus 3 squared is a multiple of 8. So we need to multiply out those brackets. 2n plus 3, 2n plus 3 gives us 4n squared plus 6n plus 6n plus 9, 2n minus 3, 2n minus 3. 4n squared minus 6n minus 6n uh, plus 9. Then we have 4n squared plus 6 uh, plus 12, sorry. 12n plus 9. And 4n squared minus 12n plus 9. 4n squared plus 12n plus 9 minus... 4n squared minus 12n plus 9 gives us 4n squared plus 12n plus 9 minus 4n squared plus 12n minus 9. Tidying it up, 4n squared minus 4n squared is nothing. 12n plus 12n gives us 24n. Um, 9 minus 9 it gives us nothing. We can then divide that by 8 on the outside, giving us 3n in the middle. Prove that the difference between the squares of any two consecutive whole numbers is the sum of these two numbers. So our two numbers are going to be n and n plus 1. The sum of these two numbers is n plus n plus 1, giving us 2n plus 1. The squared of these, n squared is n squared. Um, n plus 1 squared is going to be n plus 1, n plus 1, giving us n squared plus n plus n plus 1, n squared plus 2n plus 1. One. So the difference between these, we need to do n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus n squared to find the difference, giving us 2n plus 1, which is equal to the sum of these two numbers.